hit the button. Let's play some flat out, shall we? I almost called it Fallout again, dude. Uses autosave. That's fine. Yeah, right there it said memory card 8 megabyte for the PlayStation 2. So NCAA, the last game we were just playing, used like 1.3 megabytes, man. <laughs> or 1.2 was probably closer. 1.2 on an 8 megabyte memory card. That is insane. How are you going to use that much memory on a PS2 game for a save? I guess like... I don't know, it must just be something to do with all the player and team customizations or something like that. Like, I don't know, dude. Uh, handling? Let's select normal, okay? <laughs> We're far from pro, man. We're anything but pros here. Let's just let's just take the easy route here for a moment, shall we? So we got single player, multiplayer, options, and credits. What kind of options do we have? Imperial units, overlay gauges, race map, we got audio, and we got controls. That's it. That's all you need, really. Well, I don't have a second person to play with, so let's check out uh, single player. Start career, quick race, or time trial. Let's do career. We can use pepper. Okay, we got four grand, it looks like. Pepper weighs 1,600 pounds, has 117 horsepower. Oh, we can change pepper's color. That's cool. What are the other options? Blocker. 2,000 pounds, and it's cheaper. A little less horsepower. We got Grinder. That's all the money we have. 2,700 pounds, 124 horsepower. Got Blockhead, roughly the same. And Bullet. Roughly the or Actually, that's even heavier. 3,500 pounds. Well, if we're wrecking other cars... You have to assume that the heavier the better, right? Again, let's take the easy route, dude. Let's do let's do automatic. Because the heavier your car is, the more likely your car is to survive and theirs is to f get screwed up, basically. That's, that's the logic I'm going with, at least. Okay, car dealer, tuning. Well, we have exactly zero dollars, so I don't think we're going to be doing any of that. Bonus? Long jump, high jump, demolition dash, circle of eight. So is this just go as far as we can? Like jump as far as we can? That sounds like a fun time, honestly. See how far we can eat this car, dude. Like, <laughs> why the hell not, right? Accelerate and throw your driver into the long jump crack. Oh. <laughs> So, no, we're not throwing the car. We're yeeting ourselves out of the car. The release angle of the driver is measured from the time you keep the nitro button pressed down before you release. You have three tries, which are added together to determine your final result. Okay. So, what's the nitro button? Is it going to tell us that? I still don't know what the nitro button is. Oh, God. <laughs> well, the first throw got 0, 0.00 yards. That's good. Why don't we start squared up with the the track here? Oh, we're supposed to throw her down there. Okay. Um, continue event. How'd the game get paused? Is my memory card or my, not my memory card, my controller fucking up? I'm just unplugging and plugging my controller back in here to the extension cable that I have. Continue event. What's going on? Okay, that was weird. I'm assuming that's what happens when you press the start button, right? Yeah. It's like it was autom it was pressing the start button on itself. That's weird.
Okay, well, at least we figured out how to actually throw our driver. I think, I think we need to try again here, though. So the trick is to figure out when to start holding R1. Okay, so that was a little too early, but that alone, 36.95 yards. I think that's the best we've done yet. So that's something, right? <laughs> It did it again. Is it the game or my controller? I didn't notice it doing it in the other game. You're digging the music? I just hope, like you were saying earlier, that it's not copyrighted. Oh. I thought it might, like, automatically throw her <laughs> whenever we hit the wall. It does not. That's... <laughs> That's good. We know now. Okay. We got this. So then right about here. There we go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. 65.73 yards. Let's go. Okay, let's retry. I want to try the, the event one more time now that we know what the hell we're doing. Although I do want to try one time, like, here on the ramp. Okay. <laughs> I thought I thought maybe having the extra, the, like, the extra momentum going up there, maybe we would be able to, to do a little something with that. No. The lady just hit the lights and... <laughs> And then went straight to the ground. Okay, so that's 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 a no on that. Definitely want to save it for the end here. That was a short throw. That was not good. We suck at this, dude. We suck real bad at this specific event, at least. event which really confuses me like why I s still just don't get why we don't start straight on the track you know there we go 62 okay overall still sucked but it seems like if we hold the x button after we toss her out of the car it like slows down Exit the menu. Let's try, uh, let's try the actual race or whatever instead of the extra stuff. <laughs> Even though this is a legit way to make money, it seems like. Because there are prizes for, you know, like getting, throwing your, your character certain distances and things. We weren't even really close to hitting it, but, you know. <laughs> still a possible way to make money. Just on award zero dollars. Yeah. Okay, go race. Bronze cup, I guess. Bay amateur run. Woodland Havoc. Brad's pit crash. Let's do Brad's pit crash, dude. Sounds like the most professional of races. That's the one I want to be a part of. For sure. Any moment now. It's getting there, man. Low PS2 is working as hard as it can. <laughs> okay. I don't know if there's any timing to, to take off here or anything that we should be paying attention to. We know R1's Nitro. I don't know how you collect Nitro or if it's even a thing in these early races. It seems like knocking stuff in other people's way may be a legitimate strategy, though. We do like a pit maneuver on this guy. 
God, maybe if I wasn't, like, losing control of my own car. Oh, man, we lost way too much speed there. What's the brake button? L1s look behind. L2 and R2 don't seem to do anything. I'm going to guess square, maybe? I mean, being on the dirt, though, for the most part, it seems like we can just full throttle and then drift around the corners. Oh, wait, we collected some nitro. How did we collect some nitro? Oh, God. It's off-roading's not going to help anything. Which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Like, how does going in the dirt make us drive slower when, you know, we're already driving in the dirt? And we seem to lose way too much speed around that, that bend there. There's got to be a better way to, to take it. Is it destruction? Is that what gives us nitro? I it might be honestly. <laughs> uh Okay. So try not to get flipped because it takes forever for it to flip you back over. I think Charlotte needs to come visit you. Why? What's she doing now? Yeah, so hitting other people, hitting stuff, etc. All seems to get us some nitro. Trying to walk on some cards. Well, what do you expect? She's a menace. Well, we took sixth place. <laughs> That's good, right? Hey, it wasn't last at least. I'll take it. For our first race, it was a learning experience. I'm still not 100% sure how to brake. <laughs> I think it's the square button. It probably says in the manual. Do I have the manual for this one? Let me check. Ow. Oh, wait. We actually made money for that? I'm surprised second to last place gave us any money. <laughs> okay, I do have the manual. It's a very cheap feeling manual, but it should at least have the controls in it, right? Okay. Navigate menu, end game. Turn left, right, accelerate, and slow motion ragdoll. Square is brake, circles, hand brake. Okay. And then that's all we need to know. Okay. Circles, hand brake, square is regular brake. Wait, do you get money for. Oh, you too. You get money for smashing shit. So you get money and. Uh, nitro for, for breaking stuff. Which makes sense. I mean, the game does seem to be all about, you know, destruction. It's kind of like a not quite as good version of that other game we played. I mean, it's been a little while, but it was also a burnout. Was it called? Was it burnout? It was another car game where, like, you were just trying to blow up other people and do ridiculous stuff along those lines. I feel like it might have been burnout, but I can't can't remember for sure though. Take an early lead, but can we hold it? Oh nope, not like this we can't. At least we didn't, like, go clear back to last. I mean, we're in fifth. Not much better, but... 
Oh my god, dude. Help. Okay, that nitro is huge, dude. We get nitro for getting air? No. We're in fifth? Where the hell is the other people at? It's like, I see, um, we're fifth. That's, that's fourth, third. Wait a second. How does that math add up? Uh. I don't know if this is a shortcut or the wrong way or what, but we're in here now and I feel, I feel dedicated to it. I feel like this was meant to be a shortcut, but we, we royally fucked it up. You know what? Let's retry. Let's <laughs> let's restart that one, dude. I think I think we deserve a second try at that. I'm pretty sure that was meant to be a shortcut. But for some reason all of the junk in there was like flipping our car and shit. How are they keeping so much speed around these bends? Is it... Bruh. <laughs> we got yeeted out of our car, dude. Okay. Yeah, reset. Let's go. Okay, so that jump, not very safe, man. <laughs> I, think, I think we should maybe just ignore that jump. It's not worth the tiny bit of nitrous it, it, it uh, got us. Hard to know what here is a uh, shortcut and what's just complete and utter trash. Oh, there's like a jump over there, huh? Bro, that got us all the way up to first. Just one little shortcut. Let's go, dude. We just found like cheats, man. Can't get any more destruction on that? Nah, just barely. Just hoping for some more nitrous in case we get overtaken at some point, but... Honestly? That one, sh one shortcut may be all we need to succeed. <laughs> like... We are so far ahead of everyone. How is that legal? For some reason, I don't think they take these races too seriously, dude. Where is that shortcut? Did I? Oh, it's right here. How does that? Like, it doesn't even look like it's that much shorter. Like, it should really save us that much time, but it does. We obviously need to work on our cornering ability. We're not particularly good at that. And maybe it's a car thing, like we need to increase our acceleration or something. Maybe we should be trying to drift it around the corners. I don't know. I feel like there's probably other shortcuts around here too because it looks like there's a lot of little side paths that you could probably go down. Oh, 
Oh god. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, just don't fuck it up. We're fine. Just don't hit anything. That's a win. First place, baby. Mind you to have a look at a card to make sure it's you're not missing why it's in a special speed. I mean, if you want, you can bring it up and I can take a look at it, but... Maybe one of us thought it was hollow? Or is it a promo card? At one point, I think I might have been putting promos in place leaves. But, uh... Then I stopped? I don't know. It's just a potion? I, I have no idea. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I don't know why a potion would be in a place leave. You've unlocked the Finchley Trial Run. And we got 259 bucks for breaking shit. Let's see what the other bonuses are. High jump? We haven't tried that one yet. Oh, did you bring the card? I didn't say you had to. I just said if you wanted to. No, I don't know. Yeah, I think it just accidentally ended up in one of them. It's from a small set, 37 to 39. So it was like, a, it was probably some sort of special set or something, but I don't know. Yeah, it just looks like a regular. I don't see any holographic or it's definitely not a secret rare or anything fancy. So. Let's see what the high jump's all about though, shall we? I thought I clicked X on that. There we go. See what other ways we can torture our uh, our driver. Race online with up to six players. How fancy. Wonder if any of these old games still work online. Accelerate and throw your driver high in the air from the ramp by pressing and releasing the nitro button. Release angle of the driver is measured from the time you keep the nitro bus button pressed down before you release. The total height of all three runs is added together. So is your goal to get it as high up or is... Because like at first I thought it was the green area you wanted to be in, right? But no, I guess it's probably the very top. Weird, it's doing the thing again where it's not like straight on the track. We have to turn onto the track. Let's go! That, that looked pretty good, dude. I think that was pretty good. Oh, yeah. 93 yards. Let's go, dude. Smacked right into the fence. Oh, wait. Did we clip into the fence? That's pretty sick. Can we beat 93? I, that felt pretty damn good to me, dude. I don't know. Got it right on the red again. Let's go. 90, 98. Bruh, we found our calling in life. Yeeting drivers as high as possible outside of cars. Oh God, oh God. Oh fuck, I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to hit the button, the nitrous button. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, you know, 40, 49, not so bad. 241 yards. Is that enough for for a big bonus? I don't remember how much, like, the total need to be to get the, the $1,000. It's probably like 300 or something. You probably had to have, like, three perfect throws. That's my guess anyways. Uh, $300 is all we got, yeah. So what were the... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, 300 yards. Three perfect throws gets you... 1,000. Bro, we would have had the 500 if we didn't mess up the, the second one. Or the third one, rather. Demolition Arena. Demolition Dash. Why not, dude? Is this just like 
destroying the other cars as much as possible. Copyright 2005, Empire Interactive Europe Limited. This game came out around 2005. And presumably made in Europe. You can only win the Derby by destroying all the other cars. Your reward depends on the amount of time you spend on destroying all the other cars. The longer it takes, the smaller the reward. Your nitro meter indicates the damage your car receives. You lose if the damage reaches the top of the meter. Okay. So we want to destroy everyone else, but not let ourselves die. So it's it's just a demolition derby. It's kind of neat that they reuse that uh, the nitro meter constantly for like all the different elements. I mean, should we be doing it like real derby style? You know, using using the ass of our car as much as possible. I don't know if it actually calculates damage like that or not. So much destruction, it's awesome. It goes so slow in reverse though. How do we know when the other cars are fucked up? Does it tell us, like, when one of them dies, or...? Or, oh, it might blow up. That one's on fire, so... I guess that's one way to know. Can we, like... Bro, we can! I was wondering if we could use those, like, uh, half pipes. Oh god, that really <laughs> Okay, that did some damage to our car. I don't I don't think that was a great idea in hindsight. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna lose this one, boys. Because we are, uh, we are dangerously close to catching on fire ourselves. Where are they at? Like, I'm just trying to figure out, is there any strategy to this? Like... Should you try to get them to run into your side, or should you just hit them as fast as possible? Should you back into them? It looks like the one car that's dead, their dot turned black. So we only got one other car knocked out. Like We, uh, we did real well on this one, dude. And you can destroy all the other cars in under three minutes? Oh, okay, that's two down, I think. Pretty sure that's another black dot down there. Let's go. Get wrecked. Nice, okay. There's only three, four left. Problem is, we're like one good hit away from death or so. Because of when I ran into that wall, I think. I thought we would just go up it. I didn't realize it was gonna like kill us. Does the other two players, do they just wanna like kill each other? That'd be fine by me, dude. Okay, it looks like one of them isn't moving. Oh, it's that one. The one that's upside... Fuck. <laughs> the one that was upside down there. Uh, no, I want to I wanna retry. Is there no way to, like... Okay, I guess we have to exit the menu. That's lame. Why the hell won't it let us just retry? Oh, well. I, I guess it's okay. Gives us a chance to try out the other mode. I think it's, 
I don't know which ones are unlocked from the beginning, but on the back of the box, it shows like some sort of dart-like game and some sort of bowling game. I don't know how to unlock all these extra bonus modes, though. Circle of Eight, okay. Super Roundabout, Crash Alley Run, Demolition Sandpit, Super Mud Mayhem, and then yeah, Bowling and Bullseye. Those are the two that are on the back of the box. Or darts, it might be darts, actually. Yeah, darts and clown. Bro, I want to play these ones. You probably have to play through, like, the actual game to unlock them. Or maybe just do really well on the bonus modes. High-octane racing, 36 tracks, fully destructible environment. Customize and upgrade 16 awesome cars that take real damage. Three demolition arenas. Ram through pileups and smash through your windshield to so push racing to the edge. Delivers more heart pumping thrills than any racer can handle. So what, is this racing, but you're trying to kill each other as much as possible? What is what is this circle of eight? How is this different from the normal racing? It looks like we're gaining nitro the same way as we do in the races. It's just a figure eight. Our acceleration really does suck, though. Like, whatever money we get should probably go towards trying to increase that. There's got to be a better way to do these corners, man. I'm just waiting for everyone to get, like, spread out enough that when we make that jump in the middle, we just get a giant pile up of people. Right here. I'm surprised they don't have, like, a, a staggered release of the cars specifically to make that happen. So much speed there, dude. Did the nitro just work in air? I feel like I'm taking the turn about the same as that guy in front of me is, but he's pulling away from me. We're doing something wrong, man, obviously. Falling like the same damn race line that he is. <laughs> Maybe our car just sucks that bad. Okay, well that's going off road definitely hurt us there. Well, we took sixth again. <laughs> That's pretty average for us at this point. Um, no, nah, exit the main menu. Let's see if we can add any, like, acceleration to our car or anything. Just something to beef it up a little bit. And then I'm kind of tempted to try that, that mode where we throw the, the lady again. Yeet her out of the front of the car. Now that we know what the hell we're doing, maybe we can yeet her a little bit more effectively. Tuning. Achieve increased torque, horsepower, efficiency, and durability by purchasing race prepped parts to improve engine efficiency and power. Minimize power losses and improve the drivetrain for higher power output. Improve gas flow, speed with minimal restrictions, suspension, tire and brakes, body. Oh shit, you better head to get bed early class again tomorrow. Lame. <laughs> now, nah, have a good night, dude. Thank you for coming out for a little bit. Appreciate you, my guy. Um, maybe drivetrain? 
gross, <laughs> right? Cast iron flywheel affects throttle response and acceleration. Transmission. Four speed gearbox and improved gearbox affects speed and gearbox. So wait, is this actually better than what we have? Upgrade, yes. Did that upgrade? Yes. Why does it take us clear out? Oh, okay. Once you buy one, you can go up to the next one. Okay. Steel flywheel. Drilled and rebalanced. Sure. Racing quality aluminum flywheel. Let's get that one, man. I want all the freaking acceleration. So we got turbo. Okay, this stuff's expensive. Guaranteed rust free. Increase our horsepower. That takes us up to 140. This takes us up to 141. Let's just go ahead and buy that then. Whatever. We have 29 potions? Well, I mean, I do want to make, like, what? 9, 10, 10 decks, and then you need a deck. So, I mean... I, honestly, like, <laughs> I think that's okay. Okay, let's try the high jump, and then uh, that's probably going to be it for the night, to be honest. Your boy's tired. And while I don't have to wake up early tomorrow, I do have to wake up at a reasonable time tomorrow, so, yeah. Can't be online playing the Vigi games all night. Yeah, yeah, we know how to we know how to play at this point. Twenty nine potions, so for eleven decks, that means we could put like two per deck. Oh shit! I picked the wrong thing. I didn't mean to pick high jump. I meant to pick long jump. We didn't even get the hundred. Lame. No, exit the menu. 23 great balls? I like it. Keep it coming. How many ultra balls do we have? Go race. Bonus. Long jump. Shooting for so 250, we get three tries. So we want to get at least like 80 on each one? No. No, we don't. 70, 70, 70, 60. 60 and 60 is 120, 180. Yeah. 250. So, yeah, 70, 80. Actually, 80 wasn't that far off, was it? It's like 75. I can math. No, I'm so tired right now, dude. I can't. Couldn't math to save my life. My guess is it doesn't have you start straight on every time, so you can't just, like... Memorize an exact. Ah, oh, dude. Did we. Did we do it too late? Maybe we did it too late. Like maybe we were facing down a little bit when we did it? No? Controller did that pause thing again. 18? Not bad, dude. So for this one, maybe we do want to do the turbo lower. Or the, the, the thing. Like, maybe it's not yeet strength. Yeah, she did seem to go out higher that time, right? We just did it too early. Okay, is the controller disconnecting? It's weird, like, it's only done it in this game mode, too, which is weird. Okay, here we go, dude. We got this. No, we don't. I lied.
Okay, so we wanna we wanna start doing it. I'm gonna try to do the turbo thing later, but for a shorter amount of time, I think. I lied. <laughs> I did the the amount of time right. I just I hit it way too early. <laughs> I started fishtailing and I got scared and I just hit the button. There we go. Yeah, okay. So filling it up on this one doesn't actually seem like the way to go. Retry. One more time. Okay. Straighten it out just a little bit. Nope. That was not a little bit. 60? 56. Not bad. Not bad. We can do better, though. Because presumably we want to do roughly a 45 degree angle, right? That's like the the best angle for when you want to get the most distance on something. And I'm assuming it just goes like, that was way too high. 51. That's a hundred. We need we need a hundred and fifty. I don't think that's happening. I don't even think that's possible. Come on, I want to beat 60, 60 something. Can we get sixty nine? That'd be pretty killer. At sixty, sixty two. I think that's as good as we're getting, boys. Without really understanding what the hell's going on here, I think that's as good as we're getting. <laughs> Wait, lose current progress. No, continue event. Now exit the menu. There we go. Might as well get that money, right? I mean, look, as far as arcade racing games go or whatever, this is a lot better than a lot of the other ones we've played. You know? <laughs> like... Like, I'd, I'd play this over, what was it, the Ford Mustang something, another that we played or whatever. I don't remember the name of it, but that racing game. Air hammers are fun. I've never played with one. Feed Dragon with Ham Bone. Thank you, dude. Bo's been looking a little hungry. Oh, man. All right. Getting a little stretch in as we end the stream here. Oh, that felt good. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate you all. Today is Thursday, as I said earlier. I'm forgetting my days. So tomorrow's Friday. We'll be back again tomorrow night playing some more PS2 something another. Until then, though, guys, have a wonderful night, everyone. Thank you again. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.